Hey everyone, this is Sugandha and you're watching Ready for SS English and I hope so you all are well and you all are waiting for my sessions. Today we will be discussing very interesting session, yes, and all sessions are interesting, I always say. So make sure to subscribe this channel if you're watching me for the very first time and do hit that cute notification bell icon so that you could get my updates later on as well. So today we will be discussing, as you all can see, if you wanted to be an HR manager, what all roles and responsibilities you need to uh, perform right now uh, one thing I wanted to tell you like people ask me after graduation or post graduation or after one year of uh, being in this profile in HR profile that I wanted to be an HR manager how can I be an HR manager right so uh, first of all the eligibility criteria is a uh, simple and that is uh, you need to know the basic things you need to have some experience related to the processes related to the working in HR profile like uh, if you're a graduate and you have done internship or uh, you have uh, not done internship or you have uh, done certain certifications or courses see a uh, few things are there which you must know by experience which you uh, came to know or you can say which uh, is the part of process and uh, if you have uh, never gone through those processes, uh, those executive uh, profile and assistant manager profile, it would be really hard, it would be really difficult for you to be in, uh, on the managerial profile because you need to handle team, you need to handle so much work, you need to be part of uh, uh, policy making and a uh, lot of other things we would be discussing uh, later on in the session. So, uh, simple thing is that you must have a certain experience that could be three years, five years, right? Or it could be more. And uh, and you must have worked uh, uh, in several domains. Like uh, if you're looking for uh, HR manager uh, and uh, you're going for in a company where uh, all kind of activities are carried on, like uh, manager HR manager is handling payroll also and uh, uh, you know recruitment part also, talent acquisition part as well, compensation policies. So you need to have uh, an experience and knowledge in that otherwise how you would be able to handle that right so having only a, or a, you can say having only a experience in recruitment of three years or four years and you are applying for HR manager then it would be difficult for you it could be that if you are having an experience in recruitment uh, so yes uh, you can apply for recruitment manager uh, you are having three or five years of experience in recruitment as an HR recruiter or uh, assistant manager then you can apply for a rec recruitment manager right not for an HR manager it could be that you can apply and you can uh, you can get uh, selected as well but uh, you would be having difficulty because you need to handle a lot of things right so crux is you must uh, uh, have knowledge uh, plus experience like qualification plus experience so that you can uh, excel in this and so that you don't have any difficulty right so i have stretched this uh, uh, one thing uh, because uh, you people ask me uh, often uh, i get these questions that uh, ma'am i have just uh, uh, qualified uh, graduation means i have just completed my graduation or post graduation or i'm having a one year experience uh, in hr domain and uh, now i wanted to be an hr manager right so uh, these this is a simple criteria not a criteria actually it would be really easy for you it would be really easy uh, for cracking the interviews if you would be having that much knowledge uh, and uh, experience right so let's move on what kind of uh, responsibilities you need to uh, carry on you need to take you have to perform if you are an HR manager right so mainly uh, this is if I say HR manager so uh, manages HRM right you need to manage human resource but this is a very uh, simple way to express uh, there are a lot of things now what kind of management so you need to um, do a lot of decision making and you need to you know take decisions and uh, basically implement them properly so you need to uh, be part of uh, forming uh, processes and then uh, implementing them in a organized way. So uh, let's discuss about the basic uh, roles and responsibilities. Now this could uh, be uh, uh, different uh, as per company like uh, I would be including uh, around uh, uh, 7 to 8 responsibilities. It could be that uh, you get only 5 responsibilities or it could be that you might be getting 10 or 12 or 15 responsibilities right. So I'm, uh, I would be giving broadly. Uh, when you would be applying for uh, any managerial profile, HR manager profile, then obviously you need to check proper JD, proper job description, what all roles and responsibilities are there and then yes, definitely it will work. Okay, definitely you would be able to know that what kind of uh, work, uh, what kind of activities you need to perform on this profile, right? So first uh, is recruitment process. Now you need to uh, work for uh, recruitment, you need to recruit people, you need to hire recruiters. 
first of all it could be that you need to make your own team of recruiters and uh, then obviously you would be responsible for other hiring uh, hiring uh, at uh, um, other for other departments for the company basically okay you need to train them regarding the processes then uh, you need to uh, make them aware about the job portals and you need to uh, do several job postings you need to prepare job descriptions it would be that if you would be giving this task to your uh, executives or trainees uh, then also there is a proper responsibility your responsibility you can say you are accountable if they are writing something wrong in those uh, job descriptions or job postings so you need to check so it's always better that you allot them um, uh, that you have to draft job descriptions means uh, you can uh, uh, give them this task to uh, write job descriptions or job postings and that could be in a draft form they would be submitting it to you and you can finalize it right so finalization part will be uh, yours only okay and uh, jo um, this is drafting job description and job specification for uh, each and every profile and uh, then uh, if uh, you if uh, mm, for the recruitment you have to give newspaper advertisements or advertisements at uh, uh, websites on anywhere then also language drafting will be your responsibility then uh, you need to set recruitment budget you need to check it as per uh, profile and positions and uh, you need to monitor uh, even a uh, applicant tracking system okay because the applicant tracking system is a simple system uh, i think uh, you might be aware about it that uh, it is a system by which we can track the candidates the applicants uh, in a better way means uh, we get the candidates uh, filtered we can get uh, most uh, require or you can say most fit candidate we can get most fit candidate uh, from uh, there uh, obviously after that also we need to see a lot of things while screening and uh, shortlisting but uh, we can say that uh, if uh, we have installed applicant tracking system if we are using applicant tracking system then yes we can get so uh, we can get filtered candidates right so this is all recruitment process like uh, i've included few points so there could be several points right as uh, we have discussed several times now second is uh, onboarding program now this is uh, a program for a uh, welcoming you can say welcoming the employees and uh, introducing them to the company to the departments to their colleagues and to the working right so uh, this is uh, you need to do for lower level mid level and senior level you need to draft onboarding program and what will be the scheduling how it will be done all the processes you need to carry on right so uh, next is consultancy tie ups you need to do consultancy tie ups like different kind of contracts uh, with the consultancy what kind of contract will be there what will be the terms and conditions you need to do negotiation and then what all candidate requirements are there you need to furnish them right only then it will be helpful only then they would be providing us the candidates right so there are a lot of uh, other things we need to see like uh, what kind of uh, uh, commission uh, terms and conditions will be there like uh, they will be charging with the candidate or uh, with us right so you we need to check all the terms and conditions you need to check all the terms and conditions well uh, signing the contracts and uh, all the agreements okay next is uh, signing or you can say forming the contracts or agreements next is fourth uh, is the policies as per law right so now you have to frame a lot of policies uh, and uh, that should be as per law so you must be aware of the laws like basic laws statutory compliance you must be aware of like uh, if you are uh, fixing wages then you must be aware of minimum wages act and you are, must be aware of payment of wages act that uh, up to what date we need to pay the wages otherwise there will be and there can be many times it happens that uh, you will be you know you can be targeted easily that if you are not aware of laws so you need to make the policies as per that uh, several acts are there like pf esi act and uh, um, in fact recruitment policies it would be that you need to make uh, different policies for different profiles okay so policies carefully uh, you need to frame policies very carefully next is fifth is payroll management now this is again a very important part of uh, hr uh, here you need to uh, see this payroll uh, completely means you need to monitor this process completely like you can't leave it to your executives because this is uh, something which involves uh, payment of wages and uh, payment of salaries right so uh, timely salary should be there complete monitoring and the software even which kind of software uh, your company is using why they are using it and what all benefits we can have uh, for using this software if you are using the software right so payroll is a complete you know different kind of compliances are there which we need to fulfill uh, if you are doing uh, if we are carrying on payroll in our company 
and whether it is required that this payroll act, uh, we, uh, activity can be carried out outside like we can pay third party and they can uh, carry on uh, our payroll processes outside our company right this is uh, this option is also there so but you need to check uh, how many employees are there and is it feasible and is it okay to do that otherwise it's always better to carry on this payroll uh, complete payroll process uh, in house in the company itself right next is sixth is compensation and benefits again this is a very a tricky one you need to do a lot of research as per market as per company and as per law and uh, you need to frame the policy as per that only considering each aspect and skills and uh, uh, even the appraisal policy and uh, how this uh, complete system will be monitored and uh, regulated right Next is uh, seventh could be training and development. Uh, this is also very important because uh, once we have uh, hired a candidate, once uh, the candidate is an employee, then uh, uh, no matter how experience, uh, how much experience uh, he holds or she holds, we always uh, have few things uh, uh, different or we can say that we have a few things uh, which we wanted to tell them. We wanted uh, that it should be done in that way. Right, the means a uh, few things are there which are company specific. So trainings should be there, like uh, trainings should be well planned, uh, if, if they are virtual, online, offline. And uh, this is a completely, you can say, continuous process. It's not like they have taken uh, training for 10 days, now it's over. A lot of technology changes are there, a lot of things are there which need to be checked, which need to be guided, which need to be supervised and uh, uh, short term trainings are there like uh, monthly training or you can say six after six months or you can say after uh, uh, a year or so, right? So you need to check this, you need to plan training sessions properly and uh, last <laughs> that is eighth and uh, that is grievance management. Now, this is a very, um, you can say again, a tricky part uh, for the company, for the employees and for the employer, for the HR managers, because see, uh, whatever you give to employee, they will never be satisfied. Even uh, HRs are also employees, right? So even we are not satisfied. So <laughs> this is a normal process, whatever uh, given to people, they are never satisfied with them, uh, with those things. And even if they are satisfied, they have uh, one or two queries, sometimes uh, normal, sometimes uh, in aggressive way, right? So grievance handling becomes a very crucial part uh, of any company. And uh, this is, uh, you can say, if you are able to handle that, if you are able to handle conflicts, if you are able to handle grievances of the employees, then yes, uh, there is a win-win situation for HRs, right? So uh, we need to establish a proper system for this uh, grievance uh, handling. And uh, small grievances shall never be ignored because uh, one date will become a big issue and then that will be highlighted in a very uh, bad way. So it's better to sort it down, sort it, uh, it's better to sort them uh, when they are small. Okay, if we, so there should be a proper uh, system uh, to handle them, to handle the grievances, right? So these are only few points and uh, I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking in the comment section for more points if you wanted to suggest to me and uh, if you know Hindi means if you know this uh, Hindi language then yes uh, I have uh, several sessions you can say 200, 300 plus sessions on HR uh, on my other channel that is ready to get updated you can find the featured section of this channel okay and uh, yes definitely I'm looking for uh, good comments uh, which will be helpful for me and if you found the session, if you find the session if you feel that yes this session is helpful then please do let me know in the comment section so till next video all the very best to stay happy stay safe thanks for watching bye bye